Hello and today I present to you the movie The Partridge Family 1970. I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they changed in 2023 after 53 years. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us. Alright, let's get started. Number 1, Shirley Jones played the role of Shirley Partridge in the 1970 film. Jones was born on March 31, 1934, in Charleroi, Pennsylvania, to Marjorie, a Methodist homemaker, and Paul Jones, the owner of the Jones Brewing Company. Jones' grandfather is from Wales. She is named after child star Shirley Temple. Jones says that many people have assumed that her middle name is named after variety and film legend Mae West, but Jones is actually named after her aunt. Shirley Jones played the role of Shirley Partridge when she was 36 years old. And now she is 89 years old. Number 2, David Cassidy played Keith Partridge in the 1970 film. Cassidy was born at Flower Fifth Avenue Hospital in New York City, the son of singer-actor Jack Cassidy and actress Evelyn Ward. His father was half Irish and half German, and his mother was primarily of colonial American descent, along with some Irish and Swiss ancestry. His mother's ancestor was one of the founders of Newark, New Jersey. David Cassidy played Keith Partridge when he was 20 years old. Sadly, he died of liver failure on November 21, 2017, at the age of 67. According to his daughter, Katie Cassidy, his daughter's last words were too much time wasted. Number 3, Susan Day played Lori Partridge in the 1970 film. Day was born in Pekin, Illinois, to Ruth Pyle Day, a nurse, and Robert Smith Day, editor of the Standard Star newspaper in New Rochelle, New York. Ruth died in 1961, when Susan was eight. Day attended Columbus Elementary School in Thornwood, New York. She then moved to Mount Kisco, New York, where she graduated from Fox Lane High School in 1970. Day began her professional life as a model. Her first modeling break was the cover of a Perset stamp on pamphlet. Susan Day played Lori Partridge when she was 18 years old. And now she is 71 years old. Number 4, Danny Bonaducci played Danny Partridge in the 1970 film. According to his own account, Bonaducci grew up in a dysfunctional family and suffered severe physical and emotional abuse at the hands of his father. His father, television writer and producer Joseph Bonaducci, while his mother Betty could only watch helplessly. Bonaducci made a small appearance on the episode Going Ape Season 5 of Bewitched, which aired on February 27, 1969, as a boy in a park whose chimpanzee followed Samantha and Tabitha home. Danny Bonaducci played Danny Partridge when he was 11 years old. And now he is 64 years old. Number 5, Jeremy Jelbwax played Chris Partridge in the 1970 film. Jelbwax was the first actor to play Chris Partridge. He left the series after the first season and was replaced by Brian Forster in the summer of 1971. According to his Partridge family co-star David Cassidy, Jelbwax had personality conflicts with everyone in the series. Cast, and with the producer. He stopped acting when his family moved to Reston, Virginia, a suburb of Washington, D.C., where they stayed for a year and a half before moving again to Connecticut, and then Potsdam, New York. Jeremy Jelbwax played Chris Partridge then he was 9 years old. And now he is 62 years old. Number 6, Brian Forster played Chris Partridge in the 1970 film. Forster was born in Los Angeles, the son of British-born actors Jennifer Rain and Peter Forster, and through his mother, the great-grandson of Charles Dickens. He is also the stepchild of actor Whit Bissell and the stepson of actor Alan Napier, who played Alfred the Butler in the Batman television series, 1966-1968. Chris Partridge is the drummer of the fictional family band. 
Since 2002-2003, Forster has been a car racer in Northern California, and continues to perform in community theater there. Brian Forster played Chris Partridge when he was 10 years old. And now he is 63 years old. Number 7, Suzanne Crow played Tracy Partridge in the 1970 film. Crow graduated from Pierce College Los Angeles and until 1993 owned and operated a bookstore. She married William Condrey in July 1985, the couple has two daughters. Suzanne Crow played Tracy Partridge when she was seven years old. Sadly, Crow died while sitting at the dinner table at his home in Lachlan, Nevada, on April 27, 2015, at the age of 52. Claiming it was due to a medical condition and was not worth it doubt. According to the Clark County, Nevada coroner, Crew's cause of death was arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia, a rare form of cardiomyopathy. Number 8, Dave Madden played Reuben Kincaid in the 1970 film. Madden was born in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada, to Verna and Roger Madden. He has three sisters, Sister Mary Roger, a nun practicing at St. Mary of the Woods in Indiana, Richard, and Jack. He spent his childhood in Port Huron, Michigan, and in 1939 he was sent to live with his aunt and uncle, Bess and Frank Hoff, in Terre Haute, Indiana, after the death of his father and his work. His mother is keeping her on the road. Dave Madden played Reuben Kincaid when he was 39 years old. Sadly. Madden died on January 16, 2014, in Jacksonville, Florida, where he was receiving hospice care, from complications of myelodysplastic syndrome. Number 9, Rick Siegel played Ricky Stevens in the 1970 film. Siegel was born on Long Island, New York, the son of Rick Sr. and Barbara Siegel. He and his family moved to Nashville, Tennessee. Siegel began his career in 1973, first appearing in the television sitcom Partridge Family, where he joined the final season as a regular actor. At the age of two, he began performing. Siegel landed the role after being eyed by Paul Tannen, then Siegel was eyed by Bob Claver, which he performed in a TV series. Rick Siegel played Ricky Stevens when she was one year old. And now she is 54 years old. Thank you for watching the whole video. If you liked this video please share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can produce more interesting videos. Thank you and see you again.